Again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and you are not seeing things. That is a 10 by 20 can inch canvas that, when I shook my yellow paint, it wound up exploding out of the top. So, it shouldn't take that much to explain that I want a yellow sky, and I'm happy to make escape, and I'm going to use all three of my yellows to do it, and an OXO omelet turning spatula, which I may have to clean one of. I'm going to let that go right over the edge with the spatula and let it be kind of thick along the edge too. I thought I wanted to use some of my... whoops. It's just a messy moment. I got myself blooming blooming paint techniques and in, in, in messy mode and uh, I can't seem to escape. I just find myself covered with paint every day. So let's let's use a finger and get this get this party started right to the edge and down over yellow sky and all. I don't expect this to actually take very long. I just want to, I just need escape. Escape, get it? <laughs> oh gosh, sorry about that. I need to escape. Yes, I do. And I would like that to go down as far as I can get it, which means I will just keep cleaning off my spatula even to the point of putting it on the edge. And then I will give myself a little more orange because I can. Because it's fun. I like this part. Mixing colors with a spatula right on the canvas is good fun. I recommend it. Now if I pull, if I, I can drag the spatula and I will if I drag the edge, I will pull the paint right off the canvas. So the more level I have my spatula, the better off I am. But when I get to the edge, it's often a problem. So I tend to think of and say that these scapes in particular probably need a frame. I'm not making any guarantee that you can get away with it without doing that. I really want some pink. I really want to get rid of some of that canvas showing at the top. Where's the pink that I want? The pink that I want is right here. That's really more purple than pink. But I'm not unhappy with that. That'll work. So now I am going to do Some weird stuff, which includes putting paint in puddles anywhere I feel like it. I got stuff falling over. Okay. <laughs> and I will use my edge catcher once I have enough paint to flow to tip. It's not not coming out really well. And I am using some typical colors. And I'm going to want some more of what? I'd like to have some more of that. I do need a certain copious amount to get enough paint to flow. So I'm just going to keep adding it willy-nilly. Kind of want some black in there. I see there's a little flow troll. Do I have any black? I do. I have the satin enamel black, which should make a big difference. And since I know I can add more paint, I'm going to move some of my bottles out of the way because they seem to be really in the way right at the moment. Let's see if there's any more colors that I want in there. That's very similar to that other color. It may even be that other color. So I'm going to use that green. It's very teal. What else? What else? What else? What else? I have some blue. Do I? <laughs> I have. So 
some darker green that I really like. Wow, that's not just darker, that's like holy. Looks like it's done some, uh, some chemistry while it was waiting. All right, so now I'm gonna throw my spatula briefly in the bucket and wipe it off because I may want that in a moment. And I think I actually caught it in time before the paint hardened on there, which is always a good thing. I do have edge catchers. I am going to tip that up. Now I've got a green splooges in my sky. I'm not happy about that. Let's see what happens. Let's wipe that off one more time. All right, I'll put up with that. Will I? Maybe I will. Got me started again, didn't you? kind of like that actually. This paint down at the bottom can sit there. So that's a different sky and that's okay. That's a good thing. Embrace your accidents. Boy, the crows are really perturbed tonight. So I got rid of those weird little dollops in my sky. Now I'm just going to move my paint across the canvas. And let it flow down that edge. And rock my edge catcher before I throw that paint right back in again. I'm even going to scrape it off. Who knows what formation I will get or what I will decide to add to it, if anything. But I've never gone so far that it might be considered too far, so I don't know where the edge of that world is. So I want to go there. I'm gonna rock that and throw it back again and even scrape it off. And I'm gonna look at this really fast and decide if there's anything that I want in there. I really wanted some of that blue and I think I'll use something. There it is. I'll take that right there. Don't ask me why, but it's cooperating and it's coming out, which, which is highly unusual. Okay, so there's a large edge catcher and lots of paint to catch. So I'm going to unhook it from the pieces it's holding. Come on, cooperate. <laughs> Not too far down. That way I won't have as much likelihood of flopping it into the picture. I'm going to let all of that go into a puddle. And then I'm going to let it, I'm going to rock it a little bit. And I'm also going to flow it down. I love this part. I really do. I'm going to rock it again. And then I'm going to flow it all right back up in again. So I get a second layer and maybe even a third layer of paint flowing. And I can take that paint off of there if I so desire. can also move it back down again if I want and over again if I want. So I'm going to go over and down, I think. Bring my little edge catcher back. Flow right back up into that blue. And down and over again. I think that working with the blooming technique has really kind of added some kind of level to my tipping skill set. Not sure what that is exactly. Maybe I'm just a little more willing to uh, take my time. I don't know. But those are supposed to be blue mountains on the horizon and I'm not sure that they are. So I'm very tempted to go ahead 
and put some purple in there. If I can get some to come out. And then because I can. Dug down canvas for a second. I like the odd strange shapes along the horizon because it breaks up the pattern and uh, becomes a lot more interesting to me. I'm going to grab a Princeton Arto Catalyst spatula and some of this paint right along my edge catcher and put it right in there right now. And maybe I should have made sure I didn't have schmutz on my finger before I touched the edge of that canvas. Well, it's just one of those days. Don't touch the edge of your, edge of your canvas with a schmutzy finger. I'm flooding it. Maybe that'll work and maybe it won't. We'll tell tomorrow. All right, so what else have I got? I have a little bit more paint. And I've got a lot more paint over here, and that's all. this is all coming back. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm going to scrape up. That's what I'm going to scrape up. Just run that edge catcher right along the edge. I love my edge catchers. Sometimes they're really actually beautiful. I've got some other paint. <laughs> from the previous painting, and I'm going to use it, too. And what else? I'm going to use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and grab all the rest of the paint I see anywhere else, except for that yellow. I don't want that yellow in the bottom. All right, so that is going in the bucket, and this is pretty cool and pretty simple. And I want to get the schmutz off my fingers. So if I want to stick them in something, I won't mess everything up. I should show you guys this, because I don't think it's going to be that much different than this. In for penny, in for pound. want to get too frisky with that because I actually really like what I've got. But you know whenever I say that I'm about to do something else. So I'm going to show you guys that, which is pretty cool, and then decide if I'm going to put sun in there, which I'm definitely contemplating. And maybe a little differently than usual, I'll make a setting sun, if I can. I don't know what's going to happen when those two colors come together. But right now, I'm not too worried about it. This is a little more magenta than I want it to be. I can always swipe some colors through here tomorrow in that sky but I'm not really minding it. I'm just agitating ever so slightly, nudging with the blunt end of this skewer and not at the edge either, just close to it so I can see it sort of poke out the color. Do I want anything else in there? I'm tempted. Not sure that was a good idea or not. But it is what it is, and I don't hate it, <laughs> which is always a good thing. So I love you guys. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, satisfying her need to have escape, or escape.
whatever you want to call it. There's GAC 800 in all of my acrylic pouring recipes, which means that I can leave my paint heavy without it cracking. And I do like to leave it heavy because I love the patterns that I get. I love you guys. There's over 85,000 of you. And uh, if you want to help keep me at YouTube, watch the videos longer, check out my created playlists on my channel where you can also find PayPal and Patreon to get yourself into the monthly drawing where this month there are eight paintings and a choice of one of my two books or a class with me in Spring Hill. If you happen to be in Florida, that could be a good deal for you. I'm not going to do that sky because I swiped it and I don't believe there are any bubbles in it and I don't want to fry the paint because once the paint is as thin as it is in that sky, it becomes an issue. I got one red cloud, one fingerprint size red cloud, which is gonna, which is about to be pink. One pink cloud, because I can. Get all the other paint off that. And if I want more tomorrow, I'll put more in. I may not want that one there right now. But it'll help me make some of those other colorful errors go away. So I think I said this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Inviting you to watch more videos and check out my recipe underneath the underneath show more under the video where you can also find Teespring clothing with all over print t-shirts and all over print leggings and uh, links to Pinterest, Instagram and Twitter. Um, give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for all the watching and all the donations that have kept me painting all this time. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Check my Facebook pages out, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors, and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More for anybody who might want to see what I've been doing since 2015. I actually got that thing out of there and I'm so proud of myself. I don't know what it was or where it came from, and if I need to fix my sky, I will tomorrow. But in the meantime, it is what it is, and I like it as is. It's okay with me. And you guys are okay with me. I love you so much. And I will see you anon. Check, tomorrow, check for tomorrow's video if you want to on Expressionist Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group or on my community board on my channel at YouTube. Bye for now. Priscilla out.